from a child, I was always around with politics with both of my grandparents, my grandfather and my grandmother. When they would go to any political activities, they would take me along with them. And I thought that there was where my interest and my love for politics grew. However, I decided based on what I have seen and based on what I have learned to hold the politicians accountable and I was not seeing accountability in both of the major political parties, I decided to join the Belize Progressive Party, which was a new party. And that was so I decided to run with the Belize Progressive Party. What motivated me was that I saw how our the state our um our town is in at the moment and as a youth I have been out before I even thought to get involved in politics and I thought that you know I could make a difference here in town and I would be a voice for youths and women here in my town as well. Based on records I believe that we don't have um, most females being involved in politics so and being the first Maya female to put up my name on a ballot paper here in Punta Gorda I think that is something you know, that our youths can look at, especially young females, they can look at that and, you know, take a stand because it's time for females to come up and join the political field. For me personally, I've always been involved um, with different organizations in my community, giving back and always volunteering my time. So when I was approached by one of our past leaders, Mr. Galvez, he spoke with me and my first thought was, you know, I'm not that type of person to be into politics but he was like look at the bigger picture look at what you have done in your community and see what you can do now on a bigger platform so I thought about it and said hey why not like this is not for myself but for my community I've always been involved I have love for my people and my community so why not give it a shot and do what you do best. What inspired me to run again put my name on the ballot is the people you know I have a passion to serve you know, and the people have seen that. And they basically, I have a group of people who are behind me, pushing for me to be um, somebody even more around for me. But, you know, you have to climb up the ranks. You know, I believe that everything takes, takes time. So the people is what inspired me to put my name on a ballot. What do you believe is different this time around from the previous time that you ran for office? What is different is being in a position that is very different, you know, and I believe that hard times create strong men. Fiji needs a lot of help, you know. We need people, well, we need leaders that are willing to stand up um, and, and speak on behalf of the voters, on behalf of the residents. One of the things I personally did was I got up at our um, National Party Council meeting and I mentioned that, you know, um, Toledo East has always been the South has always been known as a POP stronghold. I mentioned that to the Prime Minister and the Deputy Prime Minister. And um, at the time, we had the worst streets in the country. You know, so um, it's not the best place to, to, to mention some of the problems, but it, it is important to us. So every opportunity um, the current council got, we tried to mention those issues. I, I went there because I realized that we need to build that hope again, in you know, that trust, that, 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 that integrity. As, as Belizeans and also as politicians, you know. I believe that um, trust needs to build back and uh, that's one thing that I basically have with the people of Punta Gorda. People, voters here in PG, had asked me on numerous occasions to come back and participate in electoral politics. And, you know, I've decided after 13 years, I decided, you know what, I say, listen, it's at the call of the people, it's at the request of the people. Why not? 